Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Zybez, and uh, today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to get Command & Conquer Generals and General Zero Hour working for uh, Windows 7. And if you were like me and got the uh, Command & Conquer Generals first decade, it comes with all the games from the first decade, and got it specifically to be able to play Command & Conquer Generals, and found out that it just didn't work on Windows 7, well, I was highly disappointed. And I spent a long time trying to figure out how to get it working. Now there are a few different options online that you can uh, try and uh, look up and look at how to find. And I'm going to be bringing you two different options. I couldn't find really any decent videos on YouTube that really ended up fixing the problem. So I'll be bringing you two different options and how to create um, and one of the options. So first thing I'm going to show is, well I have these four folders here or these four file thingies here I'll show you what they do and uh, and how they actually end up helping so first option well option A is if you go into my computer uh, if you go into computer local disk C program files EA games command and conquer first decade or wherever your generals or general zero hour is located and if you go into there and then you go down to the application or the EXE and you cl right click generals then you go to properties and under compatibility mode run it in compatibility mode uh, Windows XP service pack 2 and once that's done go back down to it and hit go uh, right click again and then go to send to desktop create shortcut now I already have one here so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this one and do the same thing for this one properties compatibility run service pack 2 and then when you want to run the game, make sure that you always run it as an administrator. Sometimes uh, the actions that you uh, apply in, in the properties don't actually take effect unless you run it as an administrator. So that's really technically like two options in one. But still, go ahead and try that. That's option one. Now the other option I have, so I'm going to move this aside. Not really important. Now the other option is, uh, what I've found out is that Command and Conquer Generals and Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour was missing something called the options.inn file. And so I found out that uh, online there have been a few tutorials on how to create this file and where to put it. But a lot of them kind of were misleading and told you to put it inside of this file here, which is located at Computer C Program Files. Uh, EA Games, Command & Conquer First Decade, Command & Conquer Generals, that, which is not correct. As you can see, I placed it here and it did not work. This is not the correct place to put it, but you can leave the file here if you want to. It won't hurt anything. I'm going to show you where to actually put it for reals, where it actually goes. So I'm going to open up this folder here, and this folder is located at Libraries, Documents, Command & Conquer Generals, Data and it actually goes right here that's where this file actually goes to so under libraries documents and then command and conquer generals this is where your save information and any information that you at this file here is for is for the actual game information this here is for the profile information and that's that's kind of the key it was missing the profile information your options and that's why the fatal error kept happening now I'm going to show you what this file is and what's in it. As you can see, it just has a bunch of uh, normal configuration type stuff. And I'm going to show you how to create it now. So, man, I'm like bringing you everything here. Okay, so how you create this file is you go ahead and simply open a notepad. And then you, then you uh, copy. So I'm going to do Control A. And then I'm going to put it straight into here. And then when you go to when you go to create this file, all you have to do is go to save as, and then right down here, go down to uh, click this and go to all files, and then type in options. Dot n i n i. Now and then hit save. It's asking me if I want to replace it, but that's because I have it here on the desktop. You will click yes. I'm going to click no. Now that's how you create this file. Um, I'm going to give you three different options. I'm going to include a download link for this file particularly in case you want to just download it and don't want to bother making it. 
or I'll put it into uh, I'll I'll put the text from this document into the description below in case you want to make the file yourself. I hope this uh, video has helped you guys and uh, and how to fix Punk Buster uh, located over here. And you can watch that too if you've been having trouble with uh, Punk Buster on Call of Duty. Um, but feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, likes are always appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials that I'm going to be putting out in the, in the near future. All right. Hope this video was enjoyable and helpful. All right.